Proficiency in the English language may be de-emphasized for China's National College Entrance Exams. This possible change has triggered heated discussion. Authorities are considering reducing the role of English in the entrance exams. Starting from 2016, points for the English portion of exams given in Beijing will be reduced from 150 to 100. The total number of points for the exam will remain at 750. Points for the Chinese portion of the exam will increase from 150 to 180. Points given for the social or natural sciences portion will rise from 300 to 320. English exams will be offered twice a year, and examinees will be permitted to take the test as often as they wish. Similar reforms may be carried out in other cities and provinces to reduce the role of English in the exams. I am learning English because the job market requires such skills. The reforms may increase the importance of optional exams that test real language ability, such as TOEFL and IELTS tests. Experts said the language's reduced role may lead to a language gap among college students. We can foresee students entering university with different English levels. For some students, English won't be as important as it before, but they will still try hard to learn it in order to find a better job or study abroad. English teaching at the college level will therefore focus more on individual differences. The role of English in Chinese education has long been debated. In the past, students had to pass a standardized English test in order to graduate from college. However, many English-speaking Chinese have difficulty speaking and communicating with native English speakers, as they see the language as a test subject, rather than a tool for communication. Some also believe the change will create an even greater gap between urban and rural students. Urban students typically come from wealthier families and can afford to hire tutors or enroll in extracurricular English classes, while rural students only have the opportunity to learn the language at school.